Hey there guys, and welcome back to Banished. Um, so, Oxburg was an unmitigated disaster, let's be honest. The, those, those, those banished nomads off to settle in a new location, make a new life for themselves, yeah, they, they, they suffered horribly. Um, not least because they took no food with them. Well, they, they took 1,000 potatoes. They just didn't take any way to produce more food, and fish were in short supply in that river. Um, they they survived less than two years. It's very sad, but that's fine. We shall um, we shall start again with New Oxburg, <laughs> which clearly will work perfectly this time. It's like a fair climate, we can have disasters, uh, but we'll do medium starting conditions. And off we go. Hopefully, this will be slightly more successful than last time. Look for sheep. Maybe we'll bring some sheep with us. That would be great. Bringing sheep with you is a is always a good start. Uh, nope. Looks like we have no animals, and still, arguably, no seeds, which were really what we needed. If I were to just quickly make a farm. Oh, we do have pepper and cabbage. Okay. I, mean, I don't really want the farm to be here. But I will want a farm. So, let's start by gathering some resources. Off you go, people. Then we'll turn on all the things I need. The map goes over here. I don't actually know Oh, we've settled on the lake. That's helpful. Settling on the lake is always a good start because the lake is actually pretty good for fish. So we'll put that there. And we'll make some people builders. And then we'll have a look at getting some houses. And a woodcutter. There we go. And let's accelerate to five times speed. <laughs> Your name is Fisherman. I'm sorry. Well, if you if you don't become a fisherman, then something is wrong. literally named fisherman. Sorry, you have to become a fisherman in later life, once the fishing hut is built. Which may take a bit of time. <laughs> These people are not quick about doing stuff. Mainly they need stone, and I mean they have stone, they're just not taking it over here. Now someone is. Come on, people. Be builders. Do the jobs. Oh, you're going to prioritise the house over the fishing dock, are you? This will be your only source of food until you clear enough space for a field. Which... Honestly, ideally you'd do now, because we do need to plant before the summer. If we want the food to grow in time. We, we really should be prioritising fields. There's a field, but you're going to have to clear quite a lot of resources to do it. How about I prioritise there? The houses are being built, and they do seem to be prioritising the field. Um, the fisherman's hut has almost got all the resources. We are going to need more houses, but... There we go. More houses on the way. Clear the space for the field, please. Some of you are going to need to work in it. Yeah, 
Yep, do it. Good, good job. There's one, one pile of iron left. Just one of you going to come and pick it up. Okay, this is a cabbage field. And there we go, we've got four fishermen, two farmers, and a woodcutter. Um, gonna chuck a forester over here once I've got rid of all the iron and wood. And we'll also put a gatherer's hut over here with you. But I think the gatherer's hut works better in an old forest, doesn't it? So that might work better somewhere else. Oh well, it's going to go in the same place. Well, I guess it could go back here. There we go. I will instantly forget that's where I've put it. And, well, that's nicely in line. Let's put a road. The reserve of food is low. We have planted the cabbage, so that's something. I might be a bit too late to try and get a pet field in. <laughs> but we can give it a go. Might be a bit too late to plant though, unfortunately. Yeah, it does look like we're just not bothering planting this year. Uh, how do I stop your, your... There we go, that's the button. Sorted. We do have food. And it is going up. This is proving to be a very effective fishing dock, actually. Um, okay. This is going better. I think. We're not instantly out of all resources. So, I mean, I, that, that in of itself is an improvement. There's the gatherer's hut. The, the, hunt, the forester's lodge was going to be over there somewhere, wasn't it? Already lost it. Can't, can't find it. It's going to be somewhere, I'm sure. We do have plenty of resources. We are going to need to consider a blacksmith sooner rather than later. Put that in the wrong place. Um, the road goes there. Then the blacksmith goes on the road. The tailor goes there and the road wraps around. There we go. Uh, we're gathering the cabbage, which is always a good sign. So the fact that we have some food in our stockpile is always good. I did not have that until I, uh, in uh, in the original Locksburg. So that's an improvement. I'm going to up the limit of firewood slightly, so he can keep working. Although eventually we'll need to stop uh, stop chopping up all our wood. It's okay for now, especially as our stockpile is um isn't be filled up. That may need a bit of consideration. <laughs> Quite a few mushrooms around here that we are not going to be gathering. How's this doing? No one is going anywhere near it.
If someone could go down there and actually get on with, you know, building the gatherer's hut. That'd be great. Um, right. Okay, we're building... Yeah, I mean, I was kind of hoping you weren't going to prioritise the tailor over the blacksmith. Reserve of stone is low. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. And apparently the reserve of food is low. Which it probably is, but... Let's not complain too much. How you got 800 fish this season? That's a significant improvement on the fall. And we could always get another fishing hut thing there. They're going to be... Uh, their ranges barely touch, so that should be fine. <laughs> so now we must await and see if anyone dies through winter. Um, what's happening over here? Nothing has been removed yet. Wonderful. These people are so slow. They're so slow to get anything done. <laughs> what is actually proving to be a time constraint? A, a, a constraint here is it? Is it stone? I think it's stone. You stupid people prioritise the tailor. You're not going to run out of clothes for like five years yet. I just wants to not forget to build it. We're bringing one or two stone at a time, aren't we? Well, to be fair, there's not, it's not like there's anything in the stockpile. Get some stone from over here. Already earmarked that for removal. Get all the stuff from next to the gatherer's hut. Come on, people. Much speed. That would dig the stone. I'm a trick, so there's this... Oh, ten, a thousand fish, that is that is very good. That's the best I've ever seen. So it does seem like the fishing huts are better on the lakes. Just because I think it's dependent on how much of their range is in... is water. And when they're on a river, obviously... Like, the, the other side of the river is like there. So, <laughs> most of the range isn't in it. And even this one's, despite being on a peninsula, like, yeah, you kind of want them on a peninsula rather than in a bay. Just the water wraps on every side. And this one is on the output of a river, but hopefully should be fine. What is going on there? They do just connect. <laughs> well then. This is definitely the main river. So that's how the boats are going to go down. There's another lake down here. Actually, that's quite, a, quite an unusual lake, that one. So a trading post sort of here, or here if it fits, would probably be quite good. Well, late winter, we've still got food stockpiled and no one has starved, so... I'd count that as a success. And we're in the new year, so I will pause the game. What I am going to do quickly is up the food limit, because we should never stop producing food. There we go. So, day, well, year one, complete. We're in a much better situation than we were before. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want more, and I'll catch you in the next one.